With the sucking chest wound, the patient's gonna have a lot of difficulty breathing. That's due to air coming into the lung from the hole that's in the exterior of the chest, and it begins to put pressure on the lung. In this case, I have my halo chest seal. Prior to putting the halo chest seal on, I'm gonna use a little bit of sterile saline, clean up some of this blood around the wound so I get a better seal with the halo chest seal. So I'll clean up the blood a little bit as well as dry that area off. Try to keep your patient as calm as possible. Try to get them to slow their breathing down the best you can. When I open this up, I've got two chest seals, so I could actually do a through and through, one wound on the back, one on the chest, if I had that. In this case, I just have it on the chest, so I go ahead and put the halo chest seal in place, tighten down the edges, and right where the flap is, I have a little spot that air can escape. His breathing's going to substantially get better now that I've uh, stopped the outside air from coming into the chest cavity.